Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. We just arrived to Curitiba, which is in the south of Brazil in the state of Parana. And in this video, we are gonna explore Curitiba. We are going to especially eat some of the southern Brazilian dishes. And I'm gonna share all the southern Brazilian food with you in this video. Guilherme, how are you, man? I'm doing fine, man. I'm very excited for Curitiba. What's the name of the dish that we're starting with first? Uh, carne de onça. Carne de onça. Yeah. Which translates exactly to the meat of the jaguar. Exactly. Loving the atmosphere of this restaurant. It's classic. The wooden tables, the bar, the antiques, the Brazilian flag hanging from the, the rafter from the roof. Yeah, this is a cool spot. This It just has like a classic, just like heritage feel to it. The owner was just explaining to us that this used to be a corner like convenience shop. Uh, so they would sell, you could come in here, you could get your small groceries. Um, and then eventually it became a restaurant. Uh, but the house, the property itself dates back to 1953. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the meat. That's the meat. Oh, it's so smooth. I didn't even. The meat is such a fine mince that it almost looks like a ball of like red pink dough. Uh, but that's actually the minced beef. Wow, the smoothness of it. It's so fine. What is this? So then first he took that ball of meat, he flattened it out, he mixed in, oh he sprinkled on some cognac, then some olive oil, salt, some pepper, some chili powder, uh, there were some other spices, some green onions went on there, and the uh, onions and garlic. He just mixed it perfectly and evenly with the two spoons and served with bread and some mustards to go along with it. This is the jaguar. Meat. Meat. Um, of course, it's not really jaguar, it's minced beef. Do you know the history of how it got that name? Uh, rough meat, right? Yeah. So when, you know, the bad smell that comes out of the, the jaguar mouth after uh -huh. they eat like raw meat. Meat. Yeah. meat breath. So there's nothing relating <laughs> to the jaguar, but because of because after we eat, ah. it gets kind of like a bad... Uh, <laughs> so so we'll, have, we'll have jaguar breath after bread. we eat this. Yes, yes. <laughs> so we go bread? Yes. All right, butter. So use the knife. Okay, butter goes down first. You want a good forkful onto the bread. Oh, you can see all those spices. You can see the oil, the cognac. Oh, and then the mustard. Oh, thank you. Welcome. And that's black mustard? Yes. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Mm. Oh, wow. Like, what you immediately notice is how fine the meat is. Yes. That's not like a grind, that's like a. It is a grind, but it's so fine, it's like smooth. It's absolutely awesome. You taste the. A little. It's, it's not like very, very spiced but it really focuses on the meat you taste that like hint of cognac i think yeah you taste the green onions the, the, the onions sweet, the sweet paprika yes the sweet paprika. the sweet paprika the onions like make it juicy i think exactly and <laughs> and then i will add some of the the hot sauce And another thing I love is just how you one bite that entire thing. It's so like neutral tasting actually. Like the, the beef just has like zero, like overly meaty, irony taste to it at all. And as we're leaving, the restaurant has filled up. It's packed now. That was incredibly delicious. And we only had one dish because we're gonna eat a lot more food today in this Southern Brazilian food tour. But, success. 
From here, we're going to the next restaurant, which is walking distance, and they are known for their beef ribs. And this entire region, this state of Brazil is known for their meat beef ribs coming up, which is one of the greatest meat. Okay, I can't wait. But they serve castelao de gaucho. Castelao is like a big rack, a huge rack of beef ribs. I'm already just loving the atmosphere of this place. It's laid back. There's kind of like almost picnic table style dining. It's busy. It's a family restaurant. We're going back to the kitchen and the owner has said we can go back and see them the making the rib. <laughs> 30 years. 30 years. Yes. Always him at the barbecue. And here comes another yeah. slab. Uh, and you can even hear the crispiness of the skin. The skin is so like crackling, crunchy skin. The owner, he's been making it for 30 years. He has this really unique slicing system. It literally is like a, a woodworking table saw. And he just takes that entire rack and slices it into pieces, removes the bone. You can hear again the crispy skin just, just like crackling under that saw and then just like slices it up expertly with that table saw. This is some more Brazilian meat of your dreams. We're gonna order the whole thing, which called the happiness combo. <laughs> we are in Brazil, baby. Let's eat some ribs. <laughs> he just brought over some of the side yes. dishes, the polenta. Yes. There's some yuca, which is uh, tapioca. There's some salad. Is potato, that a potato, potato, salad, potato salad? salad. We made Looks like some pickled onions, some yes. uh, lettuce, and some tomatoes and bread. That's all gonna accompany the main meat. This is with orange, so you keep this to, to drink with the orange. Do it with it. This is a local Brazilian soda. Guarana is a, is a fruit from the Amazon, but this is the soda version of it. Mm. Yeah, it's almost like a cream soda, but like with a sour, yeah, fruitiness. It's good. It's sweet. It's sweet. It is a soda. And like, I mean, I would definitely prefer the real fruit, but that's interesting and refreshing. <laughs> I love how they serve it on a chopping board because yes. you can just like chop it right yes. on. The ribs are glistening with fat and juices and you can see how crispy that skin is. Unbelievable, all the side dishes. Oh <laughs> yeah, like this. Let's go for the whole thing. <laughs> oh man. Obrigado. The onions. The onions look amazing. Pickled red onions. Look at that skin. And oh, if you press it, you can just, if you, if you press it like that, you can just see the juices actually like squirting. Oh, you gotta see that. Oh. Okay, I have to begin with that bite right there with the skin, with the, with the fat. Oh, wow. That is the first bite. Oh wow, that is so flavorful, it's so smoky, it's so tender, it's so salty, oh, it is so good. Oh. Just juices, and juices in your mouth. Wow. I can't wait to try this onion either, it's like a pickled red onion. Yeah, man, I would say it's mm. Mm. Just lightly vinegary, very crisp. That's really wonderful because it breaks up like the fattiness of that meat. You serve it with some polenta, which is like a cornmeal, a cornmeal fritter. Mm. Oh, that's excellent. It's like light. It's really crispy, and kind of get that like semolina-like graininess on the inside. So some yuca, which is the these are uh, cassava. Very starchy, plain, but like it's a plainness that goes so well with everything. I love it. I love you, God. Just watch this. The meat is so tender. You don't even need a knife. You can just literally put your fork in and just twirl. It's amazing. 
beef. Dude, I like your style. I like your head of my stuff. He, I, I watched him over there as he was vlogging. He just picked up the entire piece. <laughs> That's the, this is the way to do it. And the lizard, and like, the lizard mouth way. That's my nickname here that. in Brazil. He's just like... <laughs> <laughs> Very juicy. You can just pour a bullet apart. This is like some chili oil. Get a couple of these. What the Let me add that half an onion. Okay. A meat foundation bite. There we go. Cheers. Cheers. Break into the bread. Absolutely awesome. Amazing food, amazing beef ribs. And I just love this restaurant, the owner, the like character of this restaurant. And the food is just, food is just insane. Insanely good. Yeah, aquele tudo, vocês botam o coração de galinha, Aaron. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. This, he is a legend. Obrigado. Obrigado. Ciao. Obrigado. Owner did not charge us for that meal. He's, ah. Uh, He's, he does that with passion, with love. What a restaurant, what a spot, what beef ribs. That was, that was incredible. Furutiba is located on a high elevation plateau. Not too high elevation, but high enough elevation so the weather is cool. The air is so fresh. It's like 24, 23 degrees today. Yeah, it's beautiful weather. The best coffee for the table. We drove over to Four Beans. This is a coffee shop. They're a roast coffee as well. They're one of the top roasters in Brazil. And we arrived here and they decided they're gonna they're gonna light up the roaster. They're gonna fire up the roaster. They're gonna roast some coffee fresh for us and then we're gonna have some coffee. Completely unplanned coffee experience. Yes. The owners are so nice. We have the Chemex going with coffee brewing right here. And then in the meantime, she's preparing the green beans, which she's gonna roast, which she's preheating the, the roaster over there. Acid and sweet at the same time. Very acid. Yeah. Acid but not sour. And like sweet honey. That's like drinking fruit juice. It's incredible. So you can see the big sure. That would be awesome. And then here lunch. Uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes, okay. You, you gotta keep tabs on everything to roast perfect coffee. Yeah, we're just nerding out on coffee right now. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is a critical moment. Yeah. <laughs> critical moment, okay. Yeah. No distraction. So he just opened up this fresh tub of coffee. It just smells so fruity, so it's like a it's like a patch of flowers. Wow. That is amazing. Slightly bitter, chocolatey, crunchy. Okay, next up on this Kurotiba food tour, we've just arrived to a local little hole-in-the-wall restaurant that's famous for serving a sandwich called a lombardo. They have a five kilo lombada, but after we had that lunch, that those beef ribs, I don't know if we're up for a challenge for a five kilo sandwich, so we might just go with the regular size, but this is the spot looks very cool. <laughs> what? Five kilos. The five kilos. Let's have the five kilos. <laughs> Let's have the five kilos. Please. Let's have the five kilos. Let's have the five. The other one is only 1.5 kilo. Oh, wait, are we, can we see them make it? Okay, on second thought, we, uh, Gilherme has made the executive decision that we need to have the five kilo. Yeah, let's go with the five kilo, man. Yeah, let's go with the five let's kilo. Go, yeah, uh, let's go to the five kilo. Okay. We're going to do the five kilo. We're going to do the five kilo. Oh, five kilo, man. Going in, we're going in. Foi na Ana Maria Braga. Foi na Regina Casea. Man, lovely guy. 
Hello, buen noche. Buenas noches. 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 Hello? No video. Then he piles everything into the bun, starting with the hot dog, then the burgers, then the chicken mixture, then that cheese mixture. There's a white cheese, there's a cheddar cheese. Um, it almost looks like a squeezable hot dog that just like goes on top of it. Then he puts on some tomatoes to balance out that protein. Um, and then he adds on some fried eggs, then some lettuce. I forgot a key ingredient. Half a bucket of mayonnaise goes onto your bun. And then he puts it like literally into a pizza box. This is not just like a food challenge. This is just like a, a family Saturday night dinner. The whole family can enjoy. And he just slices it into like pie slices. <laughs> wow. I'm <laughs> like Oh, look at that. Look at the cross section. There's so much chicken and meat in there. And cheese. Yeah. There's like, there has to be like a kilo of cheese. Yeah. It's gotta be like a kilo And two kilos of chicken. So that's one. There's a hot dog protruding out of this piece. <laughs> you have to actually like put your palm underneath yes. this. <laughs> you have to support it. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. Oh, I lost him at the front. Oh wow, that's mm. grab, flaming grab, hot. Grab the top. Grab the top. It's flaming hot. I'm gonna have to use that piece of lettuce. Use that piece of lettuce to scrape out, okay. stuff it back in. The cheese, the chicken, the, the hot dog. I have a protruding hot dog. The burgers, the egg. Oh wow, okay. Cheers. Cheers. You're gonna love me, you're gonna love me, you're gonna love me. You're gonna love me, you're gonna love me, you're gonna love me. It's actually awesomely good. Like, just like so much cheese. You really taste the hot dog, you really taste the burger. Mega, mega lombada boladão. Very good, huh? <laughs> Look, it's just stuck in my mouth. <laughs> the like plastic bags of cheese are just like completely melted into everything. The shredded chicken has like a crusty, crunchy edge. You get the saltiness of the hot dog. You taste, I know there's burger in there, but I haven't even tasted the burger yet. The egg is just like oozing around. And then all of a sudden you hit like the refreshing taste of the lettuce and the tomato to balance everything, of course. You could imagine yourself just lounging on the couch, just finishing an entire 5 kg Lombardo. Lombardo. It's actually really good though. Very good. Let's explore the sauces. I think I'm going with the mustard. Oh, that, <laughs> that's like transparent yellow. I don't know if that's mustard or not. Mm. I think it's like a sweet mustard. Oh, the end of a hot dog. Oh, thank you. Oh, awesome. That, that is gonna be key. That is gonna be a key bite right there. And you can see in this bite, there's gonna be all that chili, plus burger, plus hot dog plus egg. So far in Brazil, I've just been loving the different chili sauces. Like the, the actual food is not that spicy, but they always have chili sauce, which is just unbelievable. And this is an amazing one, the mix of chilies. This chili sauce, oh no, I lost it. Okay, let me put it back on there. This chili sauce really makes it though. Okay, I'm moving in for my, my second piece here of the lambado.
This thing is mega enormous. It's beyond huge. And this is like, it's actually very, very tasty. The mix of meats, the saltiness, all combined with the chili sauce. This is like, this will make you just stop for the rest of the evening. What a place. This is like a community hangout. Not only is this a restaurant, yeah, this is a community hangout. And man, I, I love the people. I love how he was started as a street food cart outside of a speed bump. And now this is what he has turned it into a restaurant where literally like the, the, the five kilo family platter Lompado, it's it's like it's just like flying out of the kitchen. It's making one after another after another after another and just like boxing them and they're like going out the door. Oh yeah, there's one right there. One more stop today to finish this food tour. It's called Uncle Dog. It's like a <laughs> it's a bit of a giant hot dog. Being able to stand here on the corner watching them make it, it is really cool. They like pack in the ingredients and there's like a like a tomato tomatoes and corn and the little crispy shoestring fries and he literally like folds it in and packs it in with his spatula before flattening it down. It's a lot of things going on in that hot dog, that's for sure. Esse é o tradicional. He's using a trowel to make that to to fit everything in that bun, and we're gonna order one of the the Philadelphia. I think it's one of their top sellers. Oh yeah, look at that cross section. The, the squeezable cheeses are all in there. The mayonnaise, the hot dog on both sides of the bread, the, the little shoestring fries and the tomato mixture. Mm. Okay, that one's pretty good. Like the sweet corn, the creamy like liquid cheese, the the crunch of those fries and just the heat of it. This is definitely a 2 a.m. food. So why do you think about the taste? It's really Different. good. Yeah, nice. Different and this is good. <laughs> my, grand, my grandpa uh, starts this, oh, this business. Oh, okay, part of your family. Yeah. yeah. Wow, very cool. Last bite. Nice. The entire crew here at Tio Dog is they're so awesome. They're so friendly. They're oh, they're having a good time out here making the Tio Dogs, making the Philadelphia. Yeah, what like I love the most about this is the atmosphere and just hanging out with this crew of guys. They they are absolutely awesome and just like having so much fun. It has been a very interesting, a very unique food day, a delicious, meaty food day. I wanna say a huge thank you for watching this video. And if you haven't seen all the videos in this entire Brazil series, I'm gonna be publishing a bunch of Brazil videos. So I'll have the link all in the description box that you can check out this entire Brazil food and travel series. And I wanna say again, a big thank you for watching this video. And also Gilherme, I wanna say a huge thank you to Gilherme and uh, Rafa for arranging everything. They're so much fun to hang out with and I'll have their links in the description box below. He also made a video today. And yeah, thanks again for watching. Good night from Curitiba in Parana, Brazil. See you on the next video.